You ever felt the pain of drawing a tile set and then setting it up? In this video, I will teach you how to make it all easy for Godo with Tile Setter. It's eyes and let's get to it. Before we start, you may ask, what is Tile Setter? Tile Setter is a generator and map editor tool that allows you to instantly create your tile sets. It has been a huge help for me numerous times and it saved me hours of work. By the way, this video is not sponsored by them. Here we are in Godo and we have a blank project. All we have apart from that is a tileset for tilesetter.png file. And that's it. Before we start creating our tileset in tilesetter, let's create tile map in Godo. And let's call it blob tile map. Enter and save. Ok, now let's switch over to tilesetter. So this part of the screen is our tileset editor. Here we will work with each individual tile, here we will see all the source images, here is where we test our tile, and that's the layers. That will be useful if you have multiple tile sets and one of them is the ground, the other is props, etc. And you just test them together. But we are not gonna use it yet. So, in order to import something here we need raw image data. So, it not like a file, but just raw data. And I will do that with a sprite. Here I opened my tileset for tilesetter.png file. I just copy that and paste it in tileset. Here we have it. Now, we need a default tile. The very basic tile that we will use. And that's this green square. And let's just copy that. Copy, paste. Okay, now right click and here we have two options. Build borders blob and build borders wine. That's how we make our tileset. Let's create the blob tile set. And that's something I think you are used to see. We have generated a tile set, however, we still have to apply textures for that. And these white squares show us that we can apply texture to that. These images and these border tiles will be our source for the borders. We cannot just drag them over. We need to go to the tile we need here in the source you left click here and you have a list of all the tiles that you can apply and that's the upper tile so i choose this that's the side tile i choose the left one and it's rotated improperly so we just have to change the rotation here boom that worked now the other tiles same here and now the bottom and also as a great thing you can see that the corners they are a composite image of everything that we have added before. But since we have the custom texture for that, let's make it custom. Turn off the composite image and choose the source. Here, pick this one and this. And this way you have made a whole tile set in just two minutes. While it still is a little bit generic and you do repetitive things, it's far better than spending half an hour in Aspart or some other software trying to make your tile set. Now, as I said, here we can test our tiles, so pick any of these tiles, pick the paint, auto tiles, instrument, and just play with it. Here we go, as you can see it works. Now that's the blob type tile set. I copied these to introduce you the one tile set. It's smaller and it may be unusual for you, but it is very convenient to use when you have a lot of different tile sets and you need to make a lot of custom borders for that etc etc but it's not that difficult to be honest so the process is similar choose the borders that you like you rotate them the way you have to and here we go and you can test it as well as you can see it draws tiles three by three but it's not a big deal now, to export there are two ways you can export tile sets from tile setter to godo one of them is to export it as an image and then work with the image inside of Godot, making your own tile map from that. Or you can use built-in Godot export, which works perfectly fine and we will go for that. So pick Godot and let's call it blob tile set. Save it and it should, re it, it should refresh it. So I had to restart Godot, but as you can see we have this folder with the PNG image of our tile set and the resource of the tile set setup. Now go to the blob tile map that we created before and, and drag the resource into the tile set field. Set the cell to 16 by 16 and here we go. Enjoy the results of your productive work. So, 
Now you know how to make tilesets in Tilesetter and export them to Godot. By the way, I am a co-organizer of GoGodotGM, and this tutorial is a part of my contribution to it. If you want to level up your Godot skills, meet passionate game developers, and enjoy the comfort of our friendly community of hundreds of people, I invite you to join us on GoGodotGM.com. This video is sponsored by the kind people who have donated money for this event. The donations are split between Godot, the winners of the jam, and the contributors like me. If you want to give Godot and its community a huge boost and encourage content creators to make more content on it, it's high time to donate. And that's it. I hope that video was helpful and you enjoyed it. If you did, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. It was Ives and until next time.